very good afternoon to one and all. I am Jayanda Karthik from uh, IIIT Pune. I am here to just present a small uh, modification in the Aparari algorithm. Before going deep into the Aparari algorithm, how many people know about data mining? Okay. okay, let me just give a small definition about data mining. Data mining is nothing but a, uh, just uh, the name uh, tells us that mining into the data, I mean going deep into the data, studying about the data which is given by the company and you just by the help of that data just uh, uh, give your views or ideas which, uh, which is generated by the tools like uh, SAS, VEKA and for this generation of ideas and everything we, we need uh, algorithms like uh, for example we use classification, a priori uh, and many algorithms are present uh, in data mining. It is not just a small topic, it is a huge topic so I can't go deep into that and introduce you now sorry. And coming to the a priori algorithm Actually, this a priori algorithm was first proposed by Agrawal uh, and Swami in uh, uh, during their research work in market basket analysis. Uh, let me tell you how this was introduced. When these people went to the market or a supermarket, for example, uh, they have seen that two things like beer and diaper were sold. They used to take a diaper with, with, with them. I mean, the, these two are used to purchase together by the person and they didn't understand what was going on and when they when they done research in this they came to know that for every person who used to take beer there uh, they, they have understood that uh, they have a child so they used to buy something like diaper or a biscuits or anything to their child to compensate this so uh, what they have found is that this is, uh, we just keep beer and diaper together and sell it to the small red so that we can have more collection of, I mean more selling of those money. So that's, that was the situation where this algorithm was first uh, introduced. I mean this was a frequent pattern mining actually. Uh, this is also use, useful in purchases uh, like PC. Uh, when you, uh, you people uh, will know that in a general PC that uh, a PC will be sold with a CPU and and they give combo offers nowadays. Due to this frequent pattern analysis, they came to know that these combo products are sold much better than selling the single products. So this frequent pattern analysis was useful in that also. And, uh, and uh, in DNA, and also uh, some web documents. Uh, let me give a small example about Google pattern analysis. See what they have done is that uh, there is a disease spreading from North America to South America. What they have done is that they have uh, seen the hit in North America. Uh, they have seen that uh, some people are trying, for example, like uh, drugs for fever, medicines for fever, and uh, this uh, pattern was uh, shifted from North America to South America. Uh, they, they have analyzed using their uh, tools that uh, this is just uh, transferring from, this disease is transferring from North America to South America and this disease transfers in this uh, climatic situations and this area situations. And basic idea of this a priori algorithm is that it generates a candidacy and a frequent, uh, frequent set. Uh, before going to introduce a candidacy and a frequent set, I need to tell you two keywords in this algorithm. It is called support and confidence. See, uh, support is nothing but a prob probability of buying a product. And confidence is nothing but uh, the, uh, Relative probability of buying that. Uh, there is a minute difference between support and confidence. Support is, uh, for example, you go to the shop and he assumes that if you buy a mobile, you will be buying a memory card 
uh, in that shop only. So what he he feels that uh, uh, the shopkeeper feels that uh, this memory card will be uh, sold with this mobile and combo. This is support and confidence is that if you buy a memory card, he will be buying some some. Uh, if you buy a cell phone and a memory card, you you will be buying some uh, some provider SIM card like Airtel, and uh, this relate, relational probability is helpful in uh, selling these uh, uh, keeping in view of this relation between these uh, products. So uh, actually, uh, this algorithm was uh, useful in. Uh, finding these frequent patterns, uh, uh, there were uh, what I found is that there were some problems in this uh, algorithm. It is that basically it is a iterative cycle approach because as this time span I could not explain the whole algorithm. It takes about one hour. Sorry, <laughs> because uh, this algorithm is a uh, two cycle approach. I mean you need to scan the database many times. You need to scan the pattern item many times. Uh, I will show you. Uh, this is a data set actually. This one, uh, sorry. Uh, this is a data set, and uh, you find the patterns in this. Like, for example, we have ABC in this item set, and support is nothing but A comes with B. In how many times? For example, here in it is. 16 times. Uh, he, we found that A comes with B, uh, and uh, what we find we find in this algorithm is that you just find the all the frequent patterns like A B C comes thrice, A B D comes thrice, and you iterate that. Like uh, in the second step, for example, in the item set even A B C comes thrice. In this first first level, what you do is that uh, what you do is that you take single item set like A comes twice in this data set and B comes twice, C comes once and E comes once. In this second level, what you do is that combination of these two like A B, A C, A E, and you just iterate this. And the third level, what you do is that ABC, ABE. This is how you find in after algorithm. But when you, uh, this is a small data set and you can find it easily by just looking at it. But when you go to large data items, you find it very difficult to, uh, because uh, in real time we don't find a data set of just 10, 10 pieces or 20 pieces. It goes to lags. Because we do this for big marketing issues like uh, big budget, most or uh, anything like big malls. So you find that uh, every day it generates around 10,000 to 1 lakh data items, data sets. And uh, when you try to scan this and do uh, iterations like this, it, it will be very difficult. So this cyclic approach must be reduced. What I feel is that uh, in this circumstances to reduce the computing time, what I have, I, have, I thought is that uh, you need to just take uh, uh, m number of emergence in the previous set at one step. For example, you just stop at level two and take the emergence. Uh, for, uh, sorry, you just can't take level two. You just take uh, stop at level three and take number of emergence in level two. And you can just ignore by you by calculating the support at that step. For example, here the support is it is 0.5 in every step. But uh, you just calculate the support. Uh, just change the support in level two again. And by using this emergence, you can uh, remove some element. In this data set, uh, I got around. Uh, I have reduced around two two frequent uh, two items 